Hello and welcome to our next set of lecture notes. We will cover chapter 17 in this chapter. So we're going to go ahead and get started. This will help you with this week's uh, information. And we're still focusing on the emerging adult from the perspective of biosocial development. So this is the age between 18 and 25. Um, before this um, age or this stage of lifespan development did not have its own, I guess, section. It was kind of thrown in with the adults. Um, and we are learning, we have learned that uh, between the ages of 18 and 25, there is a quite a distinct difference from those individuals that are 26 and above. And so because of that, um, the need was given to devote a special section of attention to study our life at this point of our growing. And so we find here, which interesting to note that millions of young people linger in this area before entering full adulthood. So this age is kind of likened to um, adolescence. I'm just a little bit older. Um, they're very in very good health. Um, this is a time for physical work and childbearing. It doesn't really happen the way that it used to, but this is the idea age for um, childbearing. Um, as far as the development, uh, everything that needs to develop it's, is there. Uh, girls by the age of 16, boys by the age of 18. Um, the muscle growth and fat accumulation continues. However, at this age, as far as the growing growing up, so to speak, that has already completed its um, its cycle and its time of uh, of, ma of maturation. And so, just some information here about uh, the universal stage or cultural phenomena of individuals this age. Uh, if you remember back to intro to psychology, it mentioned about weird. Um, westernized, educated, um, independent, um, rich, and then uh, just having a different idea of how things are versus the rest of the world. So in the Western part here in America, we are considered weird by the acronym because not everyone thinks the same way that um, that is here in this country. So United States, Europe, places like that. Um, this is talking about the protective functions of the organs and, and homeostasis and allostasis. All of these things are working and functioning at a high peak performance. Um, some information for you to read uh, at your leisure. Um, insufficient sleep. This is an age where um, they need more, but less attention is given to sleep. Um, and not because of the energy level, but just because of the, the body. The body needs more sleep. But this is the age where the peak of work, um, the peak of college is taking place. And so there's really no time for rest. But this is the age where rest is absolutely needed. And then interaction of those two systems, homeostasis and allostasis. Again, for you to read at your leisure. And then the center of attention and focus for emerging adults is the outward appearance to look vital and attractive. Uh, vanity, again, if you kind of do a, a comparison of adolescence, it's, it looks the same, except emerging adults are older. So again, those factors that encourage activity, those factors that influence life um, happenings are friendship and communities. Okay, eating well um, is a part of that active lifestyle of emerging adults, set point, and then body mass index. If you have ever found yourself uh, going into a fitness center, you will find that many of the individuals there are in their uh, emerging adult stage. Not to say that that's the only population, but it is a, a major population. 
So just more information here for you to read along with your text. And again, we talked about the age of childbearing, and this is because at this stage, the reproductive organs are at its peak. Um, very, very uh, active. Um, the drive is powerful. Infertility is rare. Uh, all these things, uh, birth is easy. And so you find that many um, children that are to be um, birthed into the world are around this time. Um, because it's just when everything um, is at a performance for it to take place. If you remember cir uh, circling, circling back or recycling back or precursing back to um, maybe older generations that had a lot of children and we kind of look and think why, <laughs> um, it is because at this time if they were active then infertility was rare and so as there were no methods of um, of control, of birth control, and as they were very active, then the fertility was quite high. And so just some more information here. And opinions and problems, STIs and, and what happens here and um, the likelihood of it being transferred and, and carried on throughout the, the globe. And then the perception of things, of how things are changing. Emotional stress is also a time. Um, I, I mean, every grade, not every uh, age level experiences emotional stress. But here are some indicators or characteristics of the emotional express, emotional stress um, experience. Excuse me, experience at this age. So that's reproduction, relationship, recreation. Multiple stresses of emerging adults. Diathesis, stress model, just some more information for you to read. I don't want to uh, read it to you, but know that it is here for you to read at your leisure. And we'll continue to move forward. And then some down sides of that emotional stress, different disorders that are evident and prevalent, and then some uh, maladaptive behavior and the description of it. Emerging adults are also at an age um, cognitively of where they are just willing to take greater risk and take various risk. And so again, the um, just going back to comparing it to the adolescent, uh, just a little bit older and have a little bit more freedom to carry out those things that they may not have been able to carry out at the adolescent stage. It's almost like your license, <laughs> your license into adulthood, your experimental time in adulthood. including the bad. So we have here substance use disorder and information here. So I'll continue to advance through this PowerPoint. Again, I just want to pull out those main points for you. Social norms and social norms approach. Um, the behavior that is, again, it starts in adolescence, it continues in emerging adult, and emerging adults kind of figure out what are the social norms try and figure out how to approach and engage and um, interact in, within those social norms. So all of this is experimental, but it begins at adolescence. And then continuing here. So it's just a very short, uh, very short time, but I did want to bring some attention to it to highlight it for you so that you would have uh, a complete set of lecture notes as you're reading um, the three chapters for this week. So have a wonderful week and I will see you all next week for our next set of lecture notes. Take care.